Welcome back everybody, this is gonna be like those five gallon challenges and one gallon challenges. Although I'm just gonna be using a three quarter cup, so a full six ounce injector. And I'm gonna be doing ice fishing baits. So the two modes I'm gonna be using are going to be making these and those. All one solid color, it'll be like a neon color. And if you watched last night's video with the watermelon candy, I made more of these green. I can't wait to use those when fishing season comes around for bass. Those are gonna be killer. All right, I'm gonna heat this up and then start making the color. All right, plastic's heated up and ready. So we're gonna make the color now. It's gonna be these two. We're gonna try and make like an orangish color. We're gonna start with the chartreuse. Twenty drops of chartreuse. And then 20 Neo Magenta. Five more of each. And then five more magenta. I'm gonna put one or two drops of this bubble gum in to try and give it more of a pink.
Bubble gum also is kind of like white, so it makes it more opaque. And then I put 10 more chartreuse. Okay, I had to reheat it, and now I'm gonna put some Dead On AU79 small glitter in, give it a bit of a sparkle. And when it's bubbly like this, because I haven't degassed it yet, you wanna stir and then take the temperature. That'll get you the best one, because otherwise you're just taking the temperature of the bubbles, which isn't right. One thing with glitter, if you take the knife up and like pour a little bit of plastic onto it, then go down through the spot where you put the plastic, it'll keep it from sticking to the knife. Okay, I'm gonna heat that up. I like to be around like 380 when I put it in the vacuum pot. That way it doesn't cool down. And then once it's ready to inject, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, debubbled, ready to inject. With some of these ice molds, you have to inject faster because of their smaller legs, but still want to hold pressure and kind of go slower. You'll learn with these which ones have thick enough legs where you can go slow and which ones don't, and you have to go faster. Like I know with my duster one, I can go it a little bit faster than normal, but with my one that looks like a centipede, I have to go pretty fast. You usually don't have to top these off, but just to be sure. With these molds, give them one to two minutes and they should be pretty well cooled. And make sure your injector's cooled before you start taking it apart to get everything out. Because uh, right before I filmed this, I had the injector decide that it wasn't cooled yet and it went all over my glove. I won't be reusing the runners in this video because if I reuse the runners, I will literally be here for like five days. I'll just reuse the little plug from the injector and I'll leave the little sprues and runners full. Okay, I'm gonna crack open the first one. This is the centipede looking thing. There we go. Bright orange with little glitter. 
ice baits. And if you see any like dents right where it goes into the right where it goes into the cavity, usually means there's gonna be bubbles in your bait. But if there's ones like dead center of the sprue or runner, it ain't gonna matter. Normally. I've never had it matter, so duster like those two they both have dents at the spot where it goes in the cavity but surprisingly there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with those baits I'll probably use this three or six ounces of plastisol until it reaches the four ounce mark, which means we've used a quarter cup of plastic because then I'll just times it by three and I'll get a rough estimate of how many you can get without reusing the runners. Okay. Now, just gotta reheat that. Degas it, then shoot it again. One way to tell if your injector's cooled, if you look right there, you can see the plastic moving. If it's not cooled, That doesn't come through well on camera, but in person you can tell. Darn it. Now I can't get my camera back. Okay, there we go. Okay, we ran it. We used something like... I think it was... Yeah, it was point... Sixty-six eight or something like that. So six six eight of an ounce to get ninety-six of these out of the little centipede. Oh, not focus centipedes, and then you got little dusters. So then, in one cup, you could make around a thousand two hundred, and then. In three quarters of a cup, you can make 850 because I remounted the runners and the sprues, and it's at three quarters of a cup. So, but there's how many you can make in that. And best thing about doing these challenges is do one cup at max, even if you're doing a five gallon challenge, because then you have one cup of this, and if you don't like all these, just throw them all back and you reuse them. But using that one cup allows you to figure out okay, so I can make. 100 worm, or that's not right. It'd be like probably say 50 worms in one cup. That's probably not right, but we'll just go with 50 worms in one cup. Then you would just times that by 16, which would get you one gallon, then times five. And then you would figure out how many worms you get in five gallons or one gallon without having to make five gallons of just orange, because that would be terrible going through and that'd be a waste of like a hundred some dollars for plastic soap. now unless that's all you use is orange then go ahead do it but this was a better way in my opinion and i will catch y'all on the next one and if you want to buy these let me know they'll be in packs of like 25 for three dollars and i can also scent them so like if you want scent um, if you want scent, I'll just replace the worm oil with scented molds are on my way. Still on my way. Well, now I moved them. Now I messed up the camera too. Okay, give me a second. Scented worm oil. Worm oil. I have watermelon, 
watermelon, banana, garlic, cra crawfish, anchovy, strawberry. There's one more. Let me go see what it is. I also have coffee. Or if you just want regular warm oil that's unscented. And they'll be in these little containers. These little screw lid containers, see-through lid, see-through bottom. Sides are sort of if it's touching them. But basically how many ever will fit in there. So probably 50. So 50 for five or 25 for three. Is what I'll be selling those for. Just email me. Let me know what you want. And if you want other colors, let me know. Because I have no idea what I'm going to do with all these. But I will catch you on the next one. I'm probably going to do another jig head match. Because that was fun. And maybe do an ice jig head match. With a little ice bait. Or I can show how I do that. On a... So... The dusters are three quarters of an inch. And where are, there we go. And then the centipedes, I ripped the leg off that one. But the centipedes are one inch. So one inch centipedes and three quarter inch dusters. That's it for this one. And I will see you in the next one.